Hi, everybody. My name is Luana and I'm a 3D artist and I'm here to teach you some tips about how to use 3D codes and the main features that I use on the software. This is the main software that I use to do my textures and I think that the way that you paint is very organic and remembers me like a lot of Photoshop. So I want to teach you a little tips how you can like start to use the software and start to paint your own hand painted textures. And this is why I'm doing this video. So I will not teach you how to paint properly, like how to use colors and stuff, but I can leave for you some references of how I, I'm learning that because I'm not an expert yet. So I'm learning so I can uh, show you the references that I use, that the artists that I, I'm following. So this is, let's go, uh, this is the trick code. This is the, when you open the software, this is the layout that you find, that you see. So for me, this software, it has like a lot of things that he does, for example, UVs and topology and all that things, but I use this. It like just to do my texture. So a lot of stuff here, I don't use it. So I don't need to see all this these different kind of panels here. So this is why usually I close all the, the things that I don't use and I just let the, the things that I need. Like for example, the texture editor, here's where my UVs are going to appear for me. I can show my UVs, the brushes are important, color palette, it's very important too. And here my layers, painted objects. I use this a lot. So I will put in here in my layers. This is the layout that I like to use when I start to paint. So an important thing that you can do too, for example, is adjusting the navigation mode. I use the ZBrush like because for me it's easier to paint using that. So I select this one. If you want, for example, if you are doing like a character for a specific game and you want to see, you want to paint this character, see in the background, like uh, an image from your, from your from the game, you can choose in here like, oh, I want to choose a background image. So instead of this gray, gray background here, you can see the image of the game or you can choose your, the colors that you want. Okay, so. Let's go here in the color palette. Uh, I like, to, when I'm picking the colors, I like to use the quad mode, this one. But for example, I can use to a concept, the concept like here. So I can, I can pick the colors from my concept. This is very good for you when you start to block in the colors, when you start to create the solid color switch part. So it's okay for you, it's good. And, Let's go. Other thing, I will import here my model so we can like like see how, how it works, how I can uh, import model per pixel painting. And here I'm opening the model. When you click to open, you see here, this is my UV sets and the resolution that I chose. So I press okay and it will open my model in one second or two or three maybe more <laughs> but it's opening <laughs> okay uh let's go oh my god <laughs> please help okay it's here <laughs> okay uh this is the model when you open it and um if you press two on your keyboard you see it like in unlit modes and with four, you can see it with the wireframe. This is why I like to see my models when I start to paint it because I don't use like additional maps. I just paint the texture. So this is what I need to see in my case. Uh, but if you think that you need like a ambient occlusion or other map to help you, it's something that you can generate inside here. Like for example, calculate occlusion you can choose here is sphere and hemisphere and into a new layer okay you see that in some seconds it will be okay um, this is like 
I like to use that when I'm when I already painted my textures and I want to like put some additional shadows and stuff. So I do that as a multiplier layer and I go to Photoshop and like I paint this. this. Instead of being like grayish, like gray, I put some color, like my shadows will be a little bit darker, like a, um, a purple dark. So I, Usually, I change the color of the inclusion. So this is like a way for you if you want to like start to. But remember that this is a multiply mode. So if you start to paint, you pick some colors in here. For example, and you start to paint, that will be like this will be multiplying. So just pay attention on that. And other thing that it's important. Here we are, we are looking at our model in the perspective way. If you press five on your number keyboard, you will see it on orthography. This is the way that I like to work too. And here on this side, you see my, this is my UV, for example, my accessories. If I want to paint the accessories, all the UVs from my accessories are in these UVs. Or if I want to paint the fur, that is the, the hair, the tail, this is, it's on this UV. I decided to separate this in a lot of UVs because I don't want to deal with a huge UV. <laughs> so for me doing a separated, like, and I separated by the material, uh, for example, the skin, all the skin is in one UV, the cloth is in another, the fur, the weapon so this is a way for me that i can be more organized when i'm working because i always know where which in each uv is my is the uv of in a specific object so this is a good way for me to work so uh an important thing for you when you are going to open here on 3d code a model that has um, many UV sets, it's important to apply one material for each part, like for each UV set, because if you don't, all the uh, all the UV sets will be appearing here, like you show here, like on top of each other. So you paint, like if I'm painting this part here, you paint the same part on the other UV sets, so that's not okay, uh, will be a messy. So one material per UV set, okay? So you can see it's correct here. And for example, if I, if I see like some areas that for me, it's easier, for example, I want to, to let me see the cloth here. Yes, I'm trying, I will feel like, the first thing that you, I do is like, I start like using the solid colors in each part so I can have a, a picture of the model. So. I use this and I start to fill in my, my object. So you can do it in here, clicking the, the model or by clicking on the, on the UVs. So for example, in here, I painted by mistake the skirt too, but the skirt's not pink. So let's do the Ctrl Z. And for example, I want just to paint this, this part here of the, my model so I can select it in here, for example. Or if I don't know which part is my 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 sweat coat, I can paint with the brush. But I don't recommend doing that when you're filling your your model with the, the salt color. You can use this triangle here option. This is an option that you paint the whole the the whole face. So this is a good option. Maybe you just paint a bit just to see which part is from that. So now you can see these little parts that are pink. So I can go in here and just fill this part. For example, yes. For example, this is a maybe a good use for us. And here. I will just click in here to see where is this part here. So I'm going in here in this part too. 
So this is a way that your work will be faster, will be faster, a faster way for you to start to work. But to be here, for example, I didn't think this part. I don't know why. Oh, it's in here. Okay, now I paint it. This is a good way so you can create like one layer for, for color or for material. So all my skins will be in one layer, all my all the cloth that's pink will be in another layer and that's the and it's good for you to do that because you can, for example, when you start to properly paint the shadows, the lights, you can use that layers if the solid colors like masks. Let me show you. If you click holding the control button, if you click on that, you'll see that it creates a mask. So if I paint in here, like if I start to paint in here, oh, this is, let me, you see that I'm painting just in this part, but it's not cool to paint, like seeing this checker texture, like moving. So if the, if you press the control F, you like hide this checker texture, but you still have your mask in here. So you can paint just inside this mask. Okay, and this is a this is one of the reasons that I I like to create these solid colors in the beginning. And another thing that you can do that will be very useful for you in the beginning when you start to texture your model is painted objects, because for example, this is the I imported my my girl, but she's not like just one object she's separated like a lot of meshes separated for example so for me i didn't in this stage i decided to keep my legs separated for example in the final model of course i will like merge like with the the other parts of the body like the hands will merge the head but now for me to use this feature here i like to keep them separated so, for example, if I want to paint just the this part here, the tail, I can press Ctrl Shift now to, and hold in here, and you hide all my objects, and I can go in here and find my tail and paint just my tail. Or if I, for example, I want to paint my legs, but the tail is kind of it's kind of difficult to access my leg from here because of the tail, so I can go and just hide the tail. So it's easier for me because here we have this option that you can select like some layers and go and hide it like that, go and hide. You can select so, but it's like takes too long. <laughs> yes, for me. So the, I think that this is a way that's much faster and will improve the, the speed of your work. So I think that here hide and hide painted objects. And hide. Oh, here. This is another thing that I think that is very important for you to learn in the beginning. Uh, let me see another feature that maybe it's important. Here you can, for example, import your alphas if you want to paint, you know, uh, I star in here in the middle, you can just draw the star or you can import in here like this star <laughs> and you can just, oh Jesus. And you can just, for example, insert here your star. That's much easier too for you. If you prefer like to, oh, I prefer to do this stamps or things like that on Photoshop and import in here instead of painting right in here. So this is a easier way to do. And speaking about the Photoshop, <laughs> 3D code has a, a very good connection with the Photoshop. I, I hide the, this part in here. I hate when it's happened because the place that you need to click to show it again, it's so small. Oh, but I think that I already, I already showed you all the things in here because I will need to click in here like many times to use it. Okay, so let's go. And I think that on another important part for you to use in Zebra in Zebra and Tricot is the 
this connection with the Photoshop that will help you a lot. If you press like Ctrl P, it will send this UV for Photoshop and you can paint in there. And if you press Ctrl S, it will like upload the texture inside here, inside here. So this is very good. Or if you want like to send this as a projection, like, like mm, uh, file, it's in like, um, Edit, edit projector in the exterior editor. So this will send your, your model to Photoshop too, but not just the open UV, the an image of your model in that vision. So you can paint on it because maybe you have like, you're more confident from Photoshop and you have some brush there that you love that you can think that will give you a good texture for your, for your model. So. Yes, it will send our model in here, like so I can hide that part because I'm doing like the <laughs> I'm painting on um, lit. So I can create another layer in here. I can, for example, I want to paint my skirt in here. So I can open here my model and like I can paint my skirt in here because I feel more confident to do that here. So let's go. I'm painting um, mm, this is exactly the way they are with my skirts, my skirt. So oh, that's perfect. So if I if I press like control S, it will save this and open in here, for example. Let me show you. It's loading here, as you can see. Yes, and I think that that helped me a lot is that sometimes I commit some mistakes on my UVs, for example, I do something that uh, have a mirror and I don't want to this in a, in a mirror way or I want to correct something in my model. So for you to don't lose the, the things that you already painted, you can come in here and file, import and replace the geometry. So this will replace with the change that you did, that you saved in your model. Like um, another thing that is very important, for example, sometimes I need to do just a small adjustment here. And I go to this tweak mode and for example, I can like, like move, for example. Oh, I just wanted this part a little bit bigger and I just do that and then I can, export my model and use this as my FDX. So if you want to do like some small adjustments, maybe it's easier for you to do inside here instead of doing a Maya or a Blender in import here again. So sometimes oh, I just want to push this a little bit for the back. So that's perfect now. And I just go in here and when I turn to the paint mode, here, um, this takes a little bit because he's processing the, the change that I did. Yeah, so I have this, this adjustment. So you can, in the, after finishing my texture, I can export the texture in the model and use that as my model, not the one without the adjustments, okay? Another thing that is very important that, for example, if you want to paint the, the lens of her glasses in here, for example. Oh, I'm using the mouse. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, here I can paint here. But as you see, it's in an opaque way because mostly because you have this layer zero that is this gray color here. So you can, for example, uh, fill with the erase this thing here. Like, uh, let me let me hide this here and here. Okay, now I don't have more this this gray color, and so if I change here the opacity by fifty percent, for example, this is a little bit more like this is transparent. I can part of texture here so you can see that like here 
as you can see, the, the glass now is transparent. Here, transparent. Okay. And for example, another thing that you have in here, but it's kind of a little bit hidden, like it's the here, adjust like your hue and saturation here. And if you click on preview here, you can like change the color because <laughs> so it's easier for you to see what, what's happening, like saturation. Dark. Okay, so this is a good tip for you too. And you can use either like the symmetry, pressing S and enable the symmetry and the X X, for example, so I can think like like both sides at the same time, like in here. I can paint just two sides mm, here. Okay. And what more can I show you that will be somehow helpful? Um, I think that it's it. I think that you already have like a good base for you to start to paint your model. Um, this is the, the tools that I use here to paint. So this is the basics. You have another things here like to stamp and to project texture and the, all that stuff in here. But, but this is the most basic stuff. If you want to start to paint in Pro, that is a software that I totally recommend. So I hope that this is useful for you. And this is a way that I, that I found that was easier to explain because I see that it's, there's not a lot of con content about that, about textures. And when I started to paint textures, I had some problems to find like videos and stuff helping me. That's why like, I, I will show you the, where I, I start painting. This is my main reference when I started. This is a, like a Chinese YouTube, I think that the name is Yuku. And this is an artist, a artist that I love, that I admire a lot. So as you can see, he paint right on the like the model without help, without the help of additional textures like I did, like I do, because this is the way that I learned. So I found these videos of uh, he teaching, like he painting, like just painting, because I don't know for people that know Chinese, maybe this would be more helpful but for me that i don't know chinese uh, i just saw him and tried to replicate in my model so this is why i painted and repainted and repainted many times so this was my main my my main like library of tutorials that i that i used so i can i can let this this link with you because it's kind of hard to navigate and decide because it's Chinese, so <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. I hope that that this will help you somehow. And if you have some questions, some something that you want to to ask for me, feel free to send me a message. I'm I'm totally like 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 here to help you. I'm. I'm totally fine with that. I think that's very important for us to support each other. And, and that's it. Thank you very, very much for, for watching to here. Thank you. Bye.